So what's good, homies? It's your man, Dr. BOA. Women want monogamy. But that doesn't mean they want to give monogamy. You see, the modern woman believes that monogamy is something that she can just demand. She believes that because she was born, the gender that she is, that monogamy is just something she deserves. Monogamy is something you should give her just because she was born. She doesn't understand that monogamy is a two-way street and that just like you have responsibilities in that scenario, she does as well. Her unwillingness to accept her responsibility in monogamy is what the real issue with the modern relationship is. Now, someone sent me a video on IG of a female who was really going ham about this topic. And surprisingly to me and to you, she actually made a lot of sense. She was thinking of this thing from the perspective that we do, which will make her seem like the perfect catch, right? She's finally figured it out. She hasn't figured it out. This is a woman who knows what's going on. She knows how to engage in a relationship with a man, right? But there's a catch, as always. And I'll give you a hint. W-A-L-L. -L. Being hit. Let's take a deep dive on this one. But first, let's elevate to a higher plane. Prepare for takeoff. First of all, this is not some episode where I'm just going to come on here and tear women down. I never do. So if you're looking for that, you're in the wrong place. But what I am going to do is give a logical Alpha King assessment of a scenario that women seem to not understand. And give you an example of a woman who does. So we're going to get real deep on this one, man. So let's listen to her video, man. Uh, it was pretty long. I chopped it down to about three minutes. So let's listen to it, man. And then we'll come back and uh, rip this thing down. No self, so how you gonna know a nigga? How you gonna know what you want? A lot of y'all don't even understand what it takes to be in a monogamous relationship. Like y'all don't even understand. Y'all be wanting to lock a nigga in so bad, you don't really understand what it actually takes to be in a relationship where you're asking another person to solely focus on you for their intimacy, to solely focus on you for their companionship, to solely focus on you for a partnership in finances and in life and in bill paying and in goal setting. Like you ain't even whole enough to be a nigga everything. And when I be saying that, y'all bitches get on, on my videos and y'all get offended. Like I'm always taking up for the niggas, I'm always, but women be the main ones pushing for monogamy. And then when a bitch get in a relationship, you don't understand by asking this man to not fuck nobody else, by asking this man to not call nobody else, by asking this man to not look at another woman for none of his wants and needs as far as male or female, you are then saying, I will be whatever you need me to be, nigga, because I don't want, but y'all don't understand that. Y'all just think that's how it's supposed to be because that's what the, the media and the movies and your man and them taught you. That, like, that's what y'all think. Y'all, y'all, like, truth be told, if you really, if up front, a bitch told you, these are all the things you're going to have to do, girl, in order to lock this nigga in like you want to, half of y'all wouldn't even want the nigga after that. But you never sit down and actually really consider what does it take to be fucking Ray Ray's girlfriend? What does it take to be Michael's wife? Like, what type of demons do this nigga really got? What type of sex drive do he really got if he left every other bitch alone and only fucked with me? What type of things will he want out of me? Y'all be wanting a nigga that's, a, that's rich and a freak and got a great personality, but it's low-key. Don't talk to nobody, but it's a people person. But it's like, y'all want all this shit. And girl, if you actually had to enter entertain that nigga non-stop by yourself, bitch, you'd be a circus monkey. The way you would have to suck dick on Tuesday, swing from the ceiling fan on Thursday, be a fucking stripper on Friday because the nigga like pole dancing on the weekend. Like, the way you'd have to cook on Sunday, turn around on Monday, and like, like y'all don't even know the half. And y'all be so quick to want a nigga to just lock in on you. Do you even have enough going on for you to be a person everything? Now, as you can see, man, there are several things to agree with with what she said. But the first thing we're going to cover is this. 
she gave you a rundown of how she's been in this relationship and that relationship and she's dated this man and that man and all of that. What that tells us is that it took her a long time and a lot of bodies to get to the point she's at. She also stated that she has children. So she's hit that point where her level of desirability to a high quality alpha king is minimal at best and absolutely non-existent at worst. But I mean, I guess it's never too late, right? So let's cover a couple of things, man, that I do agree with what she said. The first thing you have to understand about the modern woman, she doesn't understand the responsibility of monogamy. She doesn't understand that if she wants you to be monogamous, that she has to take up the slack. So if you got three women, you having sex with three women, she has to understand if she wants you to get rid of the other two women, she's got to pick up their sexual responsibility. And I know some beta male, some man Johnny gonna come in here and say, well, Dr. B.O.A., you can't just marry one for sex. You, all you think about the sex, then, you, you just, you, you're not a man. A man's supposed to be able to control his sexual urges. A man's supposed to be able to control his, his desire. A man's supposed to be able to control his lust. A man's supposed to be able to have a woman around him and not always want to have sex with her. You know what, Dr. B.O.A., I know what you are. You are a sex shooter. Unsubscribe. Okay, unsubscribe, sucker, but before you go, let me tell you this. One of a woman's primary purposes for being created was sex. And one of man's primary needs from a woman is sex. One of the primary purposes for marriage is procreation. That's why a man takes a wife so he can procreate. And the bottom line is this, a lot of times we hear men say that well, you know, man, my wife don't give me sex, man, but, you know, she give me other things. She's supposed to give you other things and sex. But the modern woman believes that she shouldn't have to do anything, uh, you know, to, to enhance her, her reliability when it comes to sex. She believes she's supposed to be able to get to a certain age and be able to blame certain types of pressures and all of that. And then suddenly she's not responsible for your, your, your sexual needs when she's the one who wanted you to forego all others. Another thing she doesn't understand is that when she thinks she has to have an opinion on everything no man wants to hear a woman's opinion on everything as a matter of fact we really want to only want to hear your opinion when we ask for it that's why i tell you guys don't talk to women women don't understand that you don't want an opinion on everything anyone who's thinking of an opinion on everything you're saying is not truly listening to what you're saying when a woman gets to a point where she has developed a response to what you're saying she tunes the rest of it out she can't hold that response in her mind and keep listening to you because she's going to forget it. She knows that. So instead of running the risk of forgetting her response, she's simply going to tune out everything else you're saying and then jump back in with that opinion. See, you got to understand this, man. There is no perfect woman. There is no woman who fits into monogamy perfectly. With a young chick, you got an amazing young tender body that doesn't have miles on it, or many miles anyway, if, I mean, for the most part. But you got to teach her everything. She's lame brain. She don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? You, but there is a catch-22 to that. You do get to shape her into the type of woman that pleases you most, that benefits you most, which is a wonderful thing. But with the older woman, she has, she has all of the understanding of what it takes to be in a relationship. But, I mean, she's not the most desirable, physically desirable woman that, you know, you want to see. And that's just the way it goes, man. So, you know, in essence, women probably need to just accept that men need to have two women. That's the thing. A woman doesn't want to accept the fact that she's going to have another woman in the picture because she knows she's not going to give optimal effort and that she can be pushed out by that woman. But what they don't understand is that if a man has two women, he has two women because he wants them both. They're not in competition for one space. They're both occupying a different space in the same agenda, so to speak. See, what you got to understand is this, man. Every woman, like this woman stated in this video, it took all of those men for her to become who she is. But that's not true. She became who she is because of all of those men. Every woman is only going to develop into what men from her past have shaped her into. All of her relationships, all of her experiences with men and their energy is what shaped her into the woman she is. She doesn't understand she has very little control over who she becomes throughout life. It is always influenced by her interactions with men. And so when you think about that, 
You have a woman who hasn't been sexually active with men, which is a rare find, which is an impossible find in America. But even in another country, another culture, when you find that, you still have to be sure that that woman was raised by her father, that her father was active in her life to guide her and teach her the ways that a woman should have when it comes to dealing with a man of high caliber, high quality. But a lot of times that's not the case. And so you're, you're simply dealing with a woman who has been controlled enough to not go out there and be, you know, and, and be a harlot. But the bottom line is if she has a harlot's mind, it doesn't matter that she's a virgin. You understand? You find a woman who's 22, 23, 24 years old. If she's a virgin, but she has a harlot's mind and she wants to be a harlot and it's in her, then you're still going to have a harlot on your hands. The bottom line is, man, you got to search far and wide to find a woman who is even worthy of monogamy from your end. And then you got to think about if she's willing to put in the type of work that's necessary for monogamy to take place. And a lot of times these women aren't. That's just the truth of the matter. That's just something we have to accept as men. The bottom line is being a freak and a helpmeet is why she was created. So we could have a helpmeet and a mate. That's the sole purpose for her creation. Everything else she brings to the quote unquote table is something that benefits her. It's something that she prides herself in. It's something that she holds in high regard. It's not something that's going to benefit you. It's not something that's going to, you know, give her any extra prestige when it comes to her ability to be a wife who is dedicated to the position of being a wife. A lot of women want the title of the wife, but they don't want the position. The title is cool. Every woman would love to be a harlot and still be somebody's wife. Every woman would love to be able to calmly come freely and go as she pleases and do whatever she wants and not have a curfew and not have a time she has to be home and not have any of that and not have any control mechanisms, you know, being enforced on her. Every woman would want that, but she can only get that from a simp. And when it all boils down, as much as a woman will enjoy a simp, no woman truly wants to be monogamous with a simp. Because the one thing that's going to happen is she's going to wake up one day and realize how absolutely unfulfilling that life is. And she's going to end up gravitating toward an alpha king anyway. The problem is her odds of getting one at that point are slim and none. And slim just pew! left the building so i say this to you men we have to keep in mind that women know what it takes to be in a monogamous relationship it just takes them forever to get to the point where they're willing to work at it and something else now that she's at that point the chick in the video i mean now that she's at that point do you hear how cocky and condescending she's getting you can't just bring and come sit at the table with me you can't just, you ain't got no table, shawty. You're an older chick who's gone through some things with some children now, and you want to sit down like you have a table? No, you don't have a table. You never had a table. And now, at this point in life, you've established a life for you as a woman who's gone through the things you've gone through. But you have to understand, no quality man wants a woman who's living that life. You women have to start to understand that you got to get this right young. If you want a quality man who's at the top of his, his masculinity, who's at the top of the food chain in his environment, who's taking the time, effort, and energy to get his mind right, his body right, his money right, his spirit right, then you're going to have to be ready when you're young. Because there's a point you're going to hit that you don't even know you hit. And we're going to know it 100% from the time we meet you. And that point is called the proverbial wall. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out.